kids write the darndest things. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Please welcome to the show one of the stars of To All the Boys. P.S. I still love you out on Netflix. It's Ross Butler. Hello, y'all. Yeah. Welcome to the show, man. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Okay, Ross, now mm. tell me, are you a letter writer? God, no. <laughs> Who writes writers? And, writes letters? Yeah, I don't writes know. We, letters we can't even anymore. say it anymore because we Lining don't even do it. It's early. probably the more modern thing to do. It's a lost art, but yeah. today we're going to be looking at love letters mm. that are written by children. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. It's time for <laughs> They Eat Candy for Breakfast and Pee in Their Bed, <laughs> but kids can be poets. Let's read what they said. Okay, like I said, we're going to read actual love letters written by actual children, wow. but certain words have been censored out, and we have to guess what those words are. we got to fill in the blanks. Censored out? We have just like blocked out. Let, let's just say yeah. it's all profanity. <laughs> <laughs> Blank. What kids are you getting these from? Okay, okay, whoever gets closest to the actual letter, as determined by Judge Stevie, is going to get a point. But whoever is furthest from the answer, also determined by Stevie, will have to respond to that letter as if they are the person it's addressed to. The okay. winner gets a stamp of approval from Ross Butler. Oh. Let's right, see the first letter. Approval. Yes. Mom, I love you more than rainbows and beautiful blue skies. I love you more than buttercups and wings of butterflies. Yeah. I love you more than blank. Wow. I like the visual aids. I you guys, I don't want to build this up, but I've never been so excited for you to fill in a blank because this might be my favorite one of all time. Okay. The f uh, wow. Hint, hint. Something Stevie no. loves. Not smiling in Instagram photos. Oh, mm. low blow. Is, is she a, a smolder? Yeah, she likes things? smolder. Yeah, I gotta check. Oh, you are. You already have your answer. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I don't know. know. Because don't that's kind of what we're supposed to do. Is uh, no copying. Like right on the whiteboard. I don't know if you know this about me. I'm a very competitive game person. Oh, so. well, so am I. <laughs> uh, I'm. I'm just here. All okay. right, I'm gonna go first because I forgot to come up with an answer, so I just had to write Instagram. But oh, really? Like, yeah. But the kids these days, you know how much they're into the gram. What? This looks like it could be a little bit older, so I went with, uh, is it my turn? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I love it more than buttered biscuits. Ah, yeah, with the bees. Ooh. With the bees, yeah. That's good. Well, that's what I did, and after a couple of other options, I narrowed it down to boobies. <laughs> Are you going off of what Link was saying about what I like? Stevie loves yeah. boobies. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was your one of your favorite things ever. All right, let's find I out. I know you right like answer. buffaloes and bubbles. <laughs> what was it? I love you more than cow. No! Oh, I had buffalo, but I crossed it out. Oh my god, you did write buffalo. Huh? I. But you know what? Cows have boobies. They do. So, but they also. Oh, make they butter. also butter. Oh, and buttermilk. Oh gosh! Biscuits. You know it's up to you, Judge Stevie. You know what's easy though? Link I've lost. Seen a cow. I know. I, I think Link definitely didn't get it. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to give this one to Ross because oh. he's our guest. Right. And okay. Let's start oh no! Off on don't that don't. No, give I me can accept because he said butter as well. Butter, hey, man, I would butter. take it. Don't give me pity yeah, points. It's probably gonna get harder. Okay, I got the punishment. Just because so, I'm the guest. So I've got to respond as mom. Don't know the kid's name, but <laughs> about Walter. Son, <laughs> I received your letter. I'm glad that you love me. But what what kind of experiences have you had with Cal? We need to talk. I get it. All right. I, All right. Again, I love you what, more than again, Cal. What kids are we getting these from? Okay, let's see the next one. Do you like me? Yes or no? Classic check, yes or no. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, I don't know blank yet, but I'm under a lot of stress at home, so I can't tell. <laughs> Yes, you don't know blank until you're blank. <laughs> we got Whoa. three blanks to work with, guys. <laughs> oh my. Ooh, the oh. pressure is on. Okay, we'll do one. Do you like two. me? Two. Okay. I have an answer. Uh, okay, I'll go first on this one. Okay, okay Rhett, go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, I went with, I don't know, I don't know you yet. And then I went with, P.S., you don't know Jack until you're 18. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? I don't know. I don't know love yet. Oh, oh, oh. Plus, I'm under a lot of stress at home, so I can't tell. P.S. You don't know loneliness until you're single. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is very. So, so he's basically putting her on a guilt trip. Very yeah. yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't know girls yet. You don't know girls until you're 16. Oh, so you yeah. went with an age as well. Yeah. 
What is the right answer? Let's find out. I don't know. I don't know myself yet. yet. You don't know yourself until you're 18. 18. Wow. What? Dang. And what if his name is Jack? I got two Blakes. You guys, wow. you all did really what? pretty well on this. I have. I think I have to give it to Rhett because yeah, you know, like you said, in I the general. But who wants to write the letter back? I Girls. said 16. That's only two away from 18. But also, you're assuming. That it's a guy responding. You don't know. It well, could be. It could I'm be just a girl saying. Responding. I was. You didn't write. You didn't write an age. I, I think Ross, you might have to write the letter back. This oh, round. I have to write a letter back. So, yeah. um, do you like me? Yes or no? Dear F Felicity. Oh. Um. <laughs> I, as an almost thirty year old man, I, I, I agree that you don't know yourself until you're eighteen. So I respect your choice. And I will go cry in a corner until you accept me. Oh, well, I, th I think all you had to do was check yes. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh all no. right, let's see the next Jeez. one. Uh, Robin Marie loves Brian B. Yes, I really like you. I even love you. I'll never stop liking you. I hope I can come and blank your blank. Oh. I hope you love me. <laughs> love forever. I hope you'll like me forever. Bye. P.S. I still want to do with you. P go, go with you. Oh. Let's go with you. Okay, go with you. <laughs> yeah, P.P.S. We gotta get that clear. I wish would go with me. I really do. Right back. Bye. I keep going back to my mind, and I'm only I picturing one thing. Y'all might as well just write something down because I got this one on lock. Mm. <laughs> it's stressful. Isn't I it? I, this is just could go so wrong. Okay. Or so right. All right, I'll go first. I mean, this is a. This is pretty intense. I'm not gonna say obsessive, but I think that she wants to brush your hair. <laughs> you wow, know, very little, intimate. That's a little forward. Yeah. Ross? Uh, I'm gonna keep it really innocent, and uh, I want. I hope I can come and pet your cat. That's not, that's <laughs> not innocent, Ross. <laughs> Rhett, what's your answer? <laughs> I went with kiss your face. <laughs> kiss your face. Oh. All right, what is it? I hope I can come and see your hamster. Okay. Whoa! This is yeah, pretty Ross, obvious. Ross definitely has that one. Ross definitely won. Um, and oh. You know, hamsters have hair. That's right. So I feel like Rhett, you're writing the letter this <laughs> They time. also have faces. Nah. <laughs> Their faces too, have hair. Too forward. So I'm responding to Brian, right? Yeah, sure. This is confusing. Hi, Brian. I don't have a hamster. <laughs> okay, next letter. <laughs> I love you with all my wow. blank. I would say heart, but my blank's bigger. <laughs> wow! <Why? laughs> These kids. What's bigger than a heart? I don't think this is right, but maybe it gets closer to the... Okay. All right, we're gonna let you go first. Stupid. Let's see what you got. This is stupid. I love you with all of my biceps. <laughs> I, would, I would say hard, but my biceps bigger. Okay, so <laughs> just one bicep. <laughs> my my left bicep. So my like dominant un bicep. Is an bigger. unhumble brag. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was um, going for. Go ahead, Link. I, I think it's brain. My brain's bigger than my heart. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Brain. Oh. oh, we think the same. I hope it's not brain. I don't think it is because it doesn't fit. No. But but neither does bicep. Let's nope. find out. My butt. What? I would say my heart, but my butt's bigger. Okay, this one's definitely going to Ross. So yeah. I need a joint letter back. <laughs> oh no. To this right. person with a big butt, please. Um, we received your letter. <laughs> um, you. You wrote one to each of us, so that makes us a little <laughs> jealous. Um, but yeah, I, I just have to say I have noticed that badonka donk of yours, and I'm I'm listening. <laughs> um, I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Now, who are you gonna choose? You have to um, I don't want to come in between you guys I mean, my, for this one. Yeah, I'll let you fight it out. All right, let's see another one. Okay, this is the last one, guys. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Bailey, will you please come to my house? Let's play together. I think you are pretty like a blank or a blank. I'm not sure which. <laughs> you should come to my house and 
blank blank with me. I love you and I lost a tooth last night. I think I would like to do a magic trick for you and then let you watch me blank blank. <laughs> love Bennett. You know, I can relate to not being certain that you want to do a magic trick for someone. It's like, I think I'd like to do a magic trick for you and then let you watch me blank blank, but I'm not sure. I think I would like to do a magic trick for you. Okay, well, I, I definitely put words in there, <laughs> but I don't feel good about any of them. But I did make sentences. Lots of blanks, I'm exhausted. Okay. Who wants to go first? Uh, I'll go, I, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slowly reveal this. Um, I think you are pretty like a horse or a queen. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Not sure. Come to my house and do stuff with me. Keep it general, that's good. <laughs> and l let you watch me eat cake. Okay. Again, I just, words came to mind and I just put them yeah. in there. Yeah, all right, Ross, I'll, what, I'll do it. what'd and you do? I, I'm, Kind of in the same in the same field, so I think you're pretty like a mouse or a rock. Yep, I'm not sure which. A mouse or a rock? <laughs> See, we're on the same, be, rocks can be beautiful. On the Have same you seen Mount Rushmore? Uh -huh. That's a rock. Uh, you should come yeah. to my house and do things. Oh, yeah. Wow! Do wow! Things. Do stuff. Do things. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, do things. Uh, um, and uh, I, I want to do magic for you and then let you watch me skip rope. Oh, skip it's a, rope. He's a rope jumper. Yeah, because if you're if it you're good at magic, you're probably good at. Right. Yeah, w one of them is like really specific and requires a lot of yeah. fine motor skills, and the other one's a little bit more general. So okay, you can fall back on the skip rope. I'll I'll pull a rat here and try to censor mine. Um, I said I think you're pretty like an elf or a fairy. I'm get, not sure which. I get that. Good I get that. You should come to my house and eat pretzels with me. Uh, that's a long word. I'm just trying to go for the gusto. You guys went general because you're cowards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you and I lost a tooth last night. I think I would like to do a magic trick for you and then let you watch me shower off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. uh, wow, because that mag magic can get very intense. You start to feel like, <laughs> you Especially do a trick, days. you do a trick for somebody you love, you start to feel yeah. a little dirty. So. All right, Stevie, let's see the let's see the real thing. I right. think you're pretty like a horse Whoa! or a ladybug. You said horse! horse! What? <laughs> That's eat. why none of you guys laugh, because you're like, you got it right, it's a horse. Oh, yeah. You should come to my house and eat cheeses with me. I love you. Eat cheeses. Uh, I'd like to do a magic trick for you and then let you watch me battle robots. I mean, horse, come on. I got what are the chances? I know, that we were all gasping back The here. reason I said horse is because sometimes you look at a woman and she's got like a big mane of hair and you're like, very horse-like. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I, ladybug. I understand Bennett's mind. Um, the ladybug, you're And I said, okay. Eat. Yeah. Spotty. Well, unfortunately, Ross, I do think this means you're writing the letter this round. Yeah. But the question um. is, actually, no. See, Rhett on his board also has the word eat. It's just in a different place, True. which means that he has more words, which means yeah. Rhett wins this round. Yeah, yes. I got to give it to I you, agree. man. Horse! Down in with horse? You really. <laughs> so who lost, Ross? <laughs> you really. No. Yeah. On this round, he did, yes. For this round. Okay, okay you got to respond round. to Bailey. Okay. No, to Bennett. Bennett. To Bennett. Yeah, as so, Bailey. Bennett, I would be honored to go to your house and eat cheeses with you, <laughs> watch you do magic and battle robots, and I am flattered that you compared me to a horse. Ask him if he um, would shower off at his house. Can, <laughs> I'll let you ask that. <laughs> can can, can, can Ross shower off at He's your house? He's too smart for that. Okay. I'm going to, I don't necessarily agree with what Link just asked you, but I will okay. definitely go and watch you do all those things. <laughs> okay, so I got the point, but that wasn't enough to uh, send me in the first place. So Ross, you, you have win. won, and you win. You you get you get to give yourself a stamp of approval. You know, any way you want. It could be the forehead, it could be the wrist. Um, oh yeah. There, uh, yeah, that. there we go. Get a close up of that. Oh, there's a wire. I'm not a robot. <laughs> Yeah, push that. Oh, uh, you're approved. Oh, look at that. Approved. Thanks to Ross for joining us today. Thank you, man. Make Thank sure to you. check out To All The Boys P.S. I Still Love You on Netflix. Thanks for subscribing <laughs> and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hey, I'm Asha from India, and I'm at a wedding in Jaipur, and I got the GMM logo hand on my hand. 
And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. We approve. Awesome. Yeah. Click the top link to see us match the famous butler quote to the famous butler in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Now you can be charmingly mythical. Get your mythical necklaces at mythical.com.